Pentagon has announced the arrival of 31 M1 Abrams training tanks in Grafenburg, Germany, in preparation for US-led training of Ukrainian tank crews and maintainers before the tanks are sent to the front lines to arm Ukrainian forces against Russia's unjustified war of aggression. With the help of its mobility, firepower and shock impact, the Abrams main battle tank closes in on the opposition and destroys it. The Abrams is a fully tracked covert land combat assault weapon that gives expeditionary warfighters the upper hand over their enemies through deadly firepower, unmatched survival and daring mobility. It arose from the failure of the MBT-70 project, which was intended to replace the aging M60 tank. The US announced that the tanks, outfitted with improved armor and ammunition, would be sent in January. Originally, the United States planned to provide new M1A2 Abrams tanks to Ukraine using funds from the Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative. The M1, M1A1 and M1A2 are the three primary operational Abrams variants, with each subsequent iteration seeing advancements in weaponry, protection and electronics. To shorten the schedule, the Defense Department rebuilt M1A1 Abrams tanks currently in the US inventory in March. Main Body the M1 Abrams is a third-generation American main battle tank designed and named after General Crichton Abrams by Chrysler Defense. The Abrams tanks are renowned as hard-to-kill battle machines due to their sophisticated composite armor which provides formidable resistance against hostile fire. Fuel and ammo are maintained separately inside the tank to safeguard the crew from munitions exploding if the tank is damaged. The Abrams integrated computerized fire control system allows the gunner to engage targets by simply pointing and shooting. Thanks to this capability and a powerful sensor array, the Abrams can attack targets at long ranges, day or night, even in bad weather. Furthermore, these tanks have 120mm main guns, albeit with varied armor, sensor, communications and other equipment configurations. Earlier, US military vehicles from World War I to the Vietnam War an olive drab color scheme, frequently with large white stars. Prototypes, early production M1 and M1 IP variants were painted flat forest green. Much smaller black marks have also replaced the huge white stars on the symbol. Some units painted their M1s with the previous Mobility Equipment Research and Development Command four-color paint scheme. However, turn-in standards required repainting them to overall first gear. The United States Army can outfit their Abrams tanks with the Saab Barracuda camouflage system, which provides concealment from optical, infrared, thermal infrared and broadband radar detection. The Abrams has the firepower, mobility and survivability to be a vital member of the combined weapons squad. The Abrams has an inbuilt computerized fire control system that allows the gunner to point and shoot to engage targets. This capacity and a superior sensor package enable the Abrams to attack targets at long ranges, day or night, even in inclement weather. A 1,500 horsepower Honeywell AGT-1500, formerly Lycoming, gas turbine engine powers the M1 tank.
Due to the hot air coming out of the engine exhaust behind the tank, infantry units cannot follow the tank in combat in residential areas. Air turbines operate quietly, while some infantrymen named this tank Silent Death. A single bullet from the Abrams tank can now obliterate any tank from 2,000 meters away. They served in West Germany and South Korea during the Cold War. The 1991 Gulf War served as the most significant combat in which Abrams tanks were tested. 1,841 tanks were stationed in Saudi Arabia to participate in the liberation of Kuwait. They were opposed by tanks built by the Soviet Union, including the T-55, T-62, T-72, Chinese Type 59 and Type 69. Enemy fire only managed to destroy one M1 Abrams tank. The crew in one of these perished. It shielded the tank crew from enemy fire, even from the front or track. During the operation in Iraq, no tank crew was lost. Unmatched air support was the main cause of this. In Mahmoudieh, close to Baghdad, a battle between seven T-72s was the most significant one. In this combat, there were no losses on the American side. On September 29, 2003, however, an explosion next to a tank that had been rendered unusable by an anti-tank mine resulted in the deaths of two crew members and the injuries of three others.